Hi, I'm Lou. And I'm Matthew. And today we're going to show you how to fix a lawnmower transmission. This method will work on pretty much any mower that looks like this. They're all the same. This is a pull-on, Craftsman, John Deere, Troy Built, Yardman. They're actually all made by MTD and they have the exact same parts. We're going to have to jack up this mower to take the back end off and the deck is kind of in the way so we'll take that off. We've got two cotter pins up front. That one and on the other side. And there's one right under here, one under there, and same thing on the other side. The drive belt. Lastly, there's the idler pulley cable. Now we can drag the deck right out. Now we'll set it up on a block so the back wheels are off the ground. This is called a peerless transmission. There's a label right there, and this is common in all these mowers. And it's mounted with one, two bolts there, one, two there, and then a couple on the back. And drag it out. So I think we found the problem. This gear shattered inside the transmission and actually blew a chunk out of the bottom. So we're going to get in there, replace this, and then patch this. We took out all the bolts and honestly the hardest part of this job is getting this thing split open because there's a seal between the two halves. We'll try to warm it up with a torch. And that heat helped open up the seal. You can hear it coming loose. And off it comes. Our power comes in right here, and then either turns on this gear, which is reverse, which turns that gear, or when you're in forward, that gear turns this gear, which turns all of these, and then there's a selector that makes these turn those. And you can see right now, we've got six drive gears and only three receiver gears. So we've actually blown off one, two, three gears here, and there's some pieces of them right there. So we just need to buy three more receiver gears and put them in there. Just to finish this story, these receiver gears turn this gear, which turns this gear and this gear, and finally this is a differential which goes out to the axles. So we did some research and found that these gears are gonna cost $50 and you can buy a used transmission for about 100, so it's hardly worth doing. But what we have to do just to keep this thing running and keep these gears lined up is to keep them pressed over. So we're gonna put some hose clamps on here that'll hold these gears in place. And as it turns out, you don't ever mow in sixth gear anyway, so third gear will be plenty to mow and we'll get this thing going. There's the hose clamp in place, holding these gears nice and tight. So now we're gonna put it back together and we need a new gasket on here. We should use a stuff called Ultra Gray, but it's very much like silicone sealer and since we're doing this on the cheap, I've got this stuff. Back together we go. We'll flip it over. We'll clean around the hole really well. Fill the transmission with 80 weight gear oil. Rough up the edges a little bit, making sure to keep the filings out of the gears. This curved piece of sheet metal will be our patch and I've roughed up the bottom side of that and we'll put it on with JB Weld. There's the JB and there's the patch. I put some around the edges to make sure we got a good seal. It's all back together and we're mowing. Thanks for watching and click the links below for my other mower videos.